Hi, this is Father Bill. I'm a friend of Dr. Bob's here in Austin, Texas, and uh, welcome back to the series. Um, hope everybody had a, a blessed and peaceful Christmas. We're starting to take a look at the 12 steps uh, from the perspective of uh, the, the pioneers in, in AA, uh, asking the question, is there something that they can contribute to a deeper and richer understanding of the 12 steps that uh, might be helpful to us who are uh, on that spiritual journey? And I think the answer is a, a very definite yes. Bill Wilson uh, made the statement that uh, steps 2 to 11, he got directly from Sam Shoemaker, who was the head of the Oxford group in the United States, an Episcopal priest. And um, so that leaves open the question of, well, where did steps 1 and steps 12 come from historically? Uh, did anyone else have some influence uh, on Wilson? And I think the answer is a very, very definite yes, uh, particularly with step one. Uh, there's a man by the name of uh, Dr. William Silkworth. Perhaps you've heard of him. He was uh, Wilson's uh, personal physician. He's, he's mentioned in the, in the big book. He wrote the doctor's opinion. And he detoxed Wilson no fewer than four times over the course of about a year and a half. And Silkworth had what he called an allergy theory. Uh, and by that, he, he meant uh, he didn't know what, what, what was the exact cause of alcoholism. But he knew that there was a physical and a mental uh, component to the illness. And I believe the physical component he would refer to as being powerless over alcohol. The physical allergy of the body is what he called it. That when an alcoholic takes a drink, it has a very specific effect on that individual. As, as uh, many of us know, uh, we don't stop. Uh, it triggers a, a reaction much like penicillin might trigger a reaction uh, to somebody who is allergic to it. Or uh, pollen or a bee sting might uh, trigger a reaction and send somebody into shock. Uh, taking alcohol into one's system, if you are an alcoholic, triggers craving, the desire for more, and an inability to stop. I think you can make the case that that's what powerless means. Um, at least that's what it's meant to me for going on 45 years, and it was the way that it was explained to me by some of the people who were close to uh, to some of the originators of the program. Uh, I hear today people saying, well, we're powerless over people, places, and things, and it drives me a little nuts, to be honest. Uh, I, need to, I need to look at alcohol very differently from Albuquerque or from Aunt Harriet or something like that. Um, I am uh, allergic to this thing, and if I, if I ingest it, take it into my system, the consequences are going to be disastrous. Powerless over alcohol, allergy of the body, those are the two things that go hand in hand. And I think we would do well to reserve powerlessness to a deeper appreciation for how it is we react physically uh, to certain chemicals. Um, I think that's really important. And I think that can be a great gift from some of the pioneers, in this case, from Dr. Silkworth. So um, again, at the end of the video, there's, there's going to be a link. Uh, hope you can uh, take some time and read this in a little bit more depth. And we're going to have a series of questions at the end that can help people uh, to make the step uh, more their own in, in going forward. So hope this is helpful. Trying to keep it simple. God bless. Keep coming back.